Hey guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com. <laughs> Over here at IDF 2011 in San Francisco, and we've been just invading the show floor and taking a look at some new devices. Well, uh, I think we saw this one uh, at IDF Beijing, right? Yeah, yeah we tried. Uh, that was in March this year. And so this is an okay. Intel Greenwich form factor reference design. It's a 10.1 inch tablet uh, using the Intel Oak Trail Atom platform. And this one is running Honeycomb, as you can see. Um, this is still not, I believe, still not the final port of Honeycomb to x86. As you can tell, it's a little bit sluggish right now. But still, uh, let's take a quick look at, at the version. I believe that this is uh, 3.2. Here we go. Here you can see it. Android 3.2. So this is basically... Yeah, it, I think we already had something like this during Computex, right? In, in, yeah, very in, in, similar. In very similar. Very yeah. similar. Um, shall we take a quick look around the device itself? Um, we have a couple of hardware buttons over here that are... Okay, I'm coming back to the home screen over here. And this one is just not doing anything. Uh, there's a slot for a SIM card, a SD card reader, an HDMI out, a jack for your headset, USB 2.0, connected for your PSU. And we have a power switch here, volume control. And that's about it. Besides that, there's a camera on the front. Can't tell you anything about the resolution right now. There's nothing on the back. Actually, it's called the iBody. The iBody was a... Uh, was a desktop PC like eight years ago from ECS. Kind of interesting. Not sure if they have a, a trademark on this. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Um, anyways, finally, we can see that Intel is definitely working on uh, porting Honeycomb over to the x86 platform. And of course, they also uh, announced a cooperation with Google today. This is just the first idea of what you can expect. And I'm pretty sure you know they will really work on the performance in the future. So this is uh, Honeycomb 3.2 running on an old trail reference design tablet. I'm Sasha for NetworkNews.com. Thanks for watching.